How far have we drifted as a nation from our founding fathers' Christian beliefs? Today's We the People segment is going to focus on one of America's greatest and most influential leaders ever, Abraham Lincoln. If he were in charge of our country today, what kind of leadership could we expect? He was a man dedicated to his belief in the Bible and he governed accordingly. Listen to some of the quotes displayed at his memorial. We here highly resolve that this nation under God shall not perish from the earth. The Almighty has his own purposes. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. And that's from Matthew 18, 7. As was said 3,000 years ago, so still it must be said, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. That's from Psalms 19, 9. One day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh see it together. They took that quote from Dr. Martin Luther King's speech based on Isaiah 40, 4 and 5. The Lincoln Memorial is a tribute to one of America's greatest leaders and is filled with biblical quotes and references to God. Just another sign that we were founded as a Christian nation and our greatest leaders included religion in the government. That's it for today's episode of We the People. Please get involved in your community and pray for our nation and your elected officials. God bless you.